Good morning, everybody. This is Colleen Light, and if it's your first time joining me, I am with Cards by Coco. Actually, that's my website, and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I come live every Thursday morning at 9 o'clock, except for next Thursday, which I'm going to have to reschedule. I have some appointments. Sorry I'm a bit um, late this morning. Of course, you know, you always get those important phone calls right before you plan on going live. Anyway, um, today we're going to be using two of the Celebration stamp sets. We're going to be using Island Vibes and Special Moments. You know, lately I've been showing a lot of fun folds and whatnot, but I am a simple stamper. That is just what drew me to stamping up. Um, I get my most value from um, doing simple stamping. I like quick and easy cards. So that's what I'm going to be showcasing today. I'm going to be showing you how you can use Stampin' Up's note cards and um, make simple, elegant, nice cards to send out to your friends and family. So I'm going to flip the camera around and we are going to get started today. This, you're going to look at my messy closet back there. You can see everything is just... Um, well, you know, it's a working room, right? Hi, Mary Ellen. Oh, I bet Montana is cold. Okay, I'm going to bring everybody up on my laptop here, and then we are going to get started. So we don't have very cold weather here right now. Our snow is over for a bit, I think, and hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it'll just stay gone. But, um, boy, we sure have had a lot of drizzle and rain, let me tell you. Um... So, have you all seen um, the Stampin' Up note cards? I'm trying to bring myself up here. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Oh, good morning, Sharon. Thanks for watching. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And let me know if you think we're too close. I can always get this up a little bit higher. Anyway, um, two of this, um, let me show you in the catalog. Actually, we're using three celebration um products. The first one is the Island Vibes, which is free, my favorite word, with a um, $50 purchase. And then let me see here, all my tags. You guys know I need all my cheat sheets. And then the Simply Marvelous. Who used to say the marvelous thing? I seem to remember somebody saying, oh, that was marvelous back in like the 70s or 80s. Anyway, I digress. Simply Marvelous 6x6 six six Design a Series Paper. You know, this is so nice. Let me show you real quick. I'll grab it out of the package. I really like the patterns in this. Again, free with a $50 purchase. I've seen this one used a lot with the auto set. Um, in fact, one of my dear friends, Tammy, with Stampin' Tammy, she made um, the cutest otter um, card. And I think she used this as her water background. So anyway, great patterns. I'm going to do a quick flip. You know, I think I may be too close. Okay, everyone, close your eyes for a minute. I'm going to raise you up. Close your eyes for just a second. I think that might be better. I don't want to make anyone seasick, especially when we're looking at the motion -y paper. <laughs> okay, I think that's a little bit better. So we're going to be using just a strip of that because we're doing simple stamping today. And this is free with a $100 order. This is the special moments. And I have just fallen in love with this stamp set. Nothing but sentiments, but they're all the sentiments we need. For someone who is wonderful in each and every way, thinking of you, good luck. It's okay to feel the feels. That's kind of a cute one. Hang in there. Happy birthday. I, I think if you're spending $100 um, and, and if you don't want to do the value of the starter kit and you just want to buy your products and carry on special moments is a good option okay so now let's show you what we're working on today um up a little bit please sharon does that look okay now does it look better um so these are the basic white note cards and if you haven't seen these you um you should. You should take a peek at them. They're actually in our annual catalog. Let me get my cheat sheet out again. Um, the note cards and envelopes. Can you believe $7 for either very vanilla or basic white? 20 cards and 20 envelopes. Oh, good. Thank you. So this is how these come. 
So this, again, for those of us who really enjoy a simple stamping, this is a great way to go because you have your 20 envelopes, note card size, perfect. And then everything is pre-cut and pre-scored and you get 20 of this. Now, I got the basic white, but I think I am gonna place an order today and I think I'm gonna get the very vanilla also. So in these measure, let me see, let me go back to my catalog. I don't remember what they measure. Hang on, let me tell you here. It looks like they measure five inches by three and a half inches. So, you know, that is great value. So I am going to show you, I've got everything all ready to go. Let me grab my bone folder and we're gonna start with our most simple card. Um, because we're gonna wanna, I think, I think some of you are going to want to fancy these up. So just this easy, right? We're gonna follow our crease line and give it a burnish, just like any other card base, except for this one was made for you. Now, these are red rubber stamps. So let me show you. So I've already got them mounted. So these are nice. So I've got the design here, but you can see you might want green there and yellow there. I mean, it's a pineapple, right? I'm gonna center this one, or as centered as I can get it. Um, and I don't, I don't feel like masking today. That would make it more than simple stamping to me. So you know what? I have my sponge dauber here. And I'm gonna take my sponge dauber and I'm gonna put it in my crush curry, just like this. And I'll probably tap off, just make sure I have enough ink. And I am going to just apply that ink here right to my stamp, just like this on the bottom. Doesn't get any easier than that. Then I am going to grab my shaded spruce because I love the color shaded spruce. You should use whatever green you like. I know a lot of people really like the garden green, which would actually match great with this. I am just a shaded spruce person. But we have so many greens between the old olives, the garden greens, the shaded spruce. Oh, I could go on and on. Um, you should pick the one you like. And we're only gonna ground this with our sentiment. We're not gonna do any backgrounding. We're not gonna do anything like that. We are simply gonna ground it with a sentiment. And I'm gonna find the center the best I can. And I'm going to pop my pineapple down and give it a little press. Just like that, lift straight up. Oh, and I got a smudge, but you know what? That's okay. That's okay. Oh, I think I should have done my shaded spruce a little bit darker or maybe went with the darker green. I had evening evergreen out first and I think that's the one I'm gonna switch to for the next one. In fact, let's just try it again with the evening evergreen because I want it to look sharp so you can really see what I'm doing. So we're gonna do it again. I'm just gonna wipe this off on my simple, simply chamois I think is what it is. So you know what? I'm just gonna turn this. I won't send this card out, but let's try it with the evening evergreen and see if we like it any better with that. And I actually had my sponge dauber out because I was playing around with that earlier, the evening evergreen. I think my shaded spruce may need to be um, re-inked. So let's try it this way. I always figure why not experiment on live videos? <laughs> And then we'll try the crushed curry. Now you can blow on this, kind of give it a little huff to reactivate that ink on top if you need to. I'm gonna try and go real fast so I don't have to blow on my stamp. It's kind of like that ha 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 thing, you know, where you huff on it a little bit. But I think I am going to do this. And then we're gonna stamp. And then I'm gonna show you a different way to do this if you have the markers. All right, I'm gonna stamp. Oh, I do like that evening evergreen way better. Let me give my stamp a little, a little smudge off. And let's, on my chamois, I love, love, love this pineapple. And then I'm gonna grab my sentiment here, which says thanks, because I need some more thank you cards. So I'm gonna take my thanks, I'm gonna open this up, and I'm going to ground this one just like that. And it's a very simple card that is ready to mail 
just that quick if you pick out the right color that you want the first time. Now, if you wanted a little bit more here at the bottom, say this is just a great stamp here. Look at this one, it's all these leaves. So if you said, eh, I don't know, still kind of blah for me. Just use this one with your little fronds there and you can add a little bit more down here at the base and give it a little pop down there. All right, so I wanna show you how we're gonna step this card up and now that I have my colors right and I want to use a little bit of a different design, I'm gonna show you how to step this up just using a little bit of twine. We're gonna do some step up cards here. So we're gonna take another card base and we're gonna give it a fold so I'm not really using glue, adhesives. I'm not cutting anything. Well, I am cutting something. You'll see it here in a minute. Um, but I'm using very few products and we're gonna make some fun cards, which I really like to do. So I have here our markers and I don't know if you have seen our Stampin' Write markers. They're different than the blends. Um, and they are great to use on stamps. They are just the best to use on stamps. So I have my crushed curry again, and I'm gonna use the fatter tip here. And I am just going to color my stamp in. That's all there is to this. And this is a great way if you don't wanna go through the problem, it's not really a problem, but through the effort, of masking, this is a great way to get that color. Okay, and this is the garden green. So we'll see how this looks with the garden green. And we're gonna do this quickly to just go over our little pineapple top. So as I'm making this, I'm realizing it's been a long time since I've had anything with pineapple and I actually love pineapple, so I don't know I don't know why I haven't had anything, but now I think I might have to go to the store and get some pineapple stuff. And I'm just gonna go over this one again, real quick. There we go, okay. I love, love, love our markers. Um, okay, I'm gonna center this the best I can, and I'm gonna pop it down. So do you all have the markers? Oh, good morning, Wendy, thanks for watching. Um, do you have the markers and do you like them? And you can see a little bit of the vibrant color using those markers. Okay, normally I wait until after to clean my stamps, but I'm doing it today because I'm switching out colors. And I love our Simply Chamois, just love it. So when you hear the squeaking, that's what you're hearing in the background is I'm just rubbing my stamps along that. Again, I'm gonna use the thank you, although there's so many different sentiments but in the interest of time, I think I'm gonna stick with the same sentiment here. And for this one, I'm just gonna put thanks here. And we're gonna do a little step up with some twine and some embellishment here. Have you seen the Baker's Twine Essential Pack? These are great. Um, you get one, two, three, four, five. In your basic colors, I don't know what one, I couldn't really decide what one I wanna use. You know, I always kinda of go to the traditional twiny color. Is that is that the right terminology? <laughs> the twiny color. <laughs> anyway, um, so that's what's going on. I don't know if you can tell my husband and I, I can't even remember what show we were binge watching on Netflix. We're both kinda, early birds so we don't stay up real late. And last night we stayed up real late. We kind of got tied and sucked into the show on Netflix. And I wish I could remember what it was so I could tell you. But um, have you ever done that? You sit down to watch TV for half an hour and then you realize, oh my gosh, three hours later, you've watched like an entire series in one evening. All right, I lost my, I lost my strings. I lost my strings. Here we go. So we're just gonna step this up a little bit. 
using twine and a few embellishments. Oh, and I'm working off camera. Here we go. Let's see if I'm back in now. Well, I'm at, I am having an off day, huh? So again, like I said, if you, if you are ordering a lot um, over that $99 mark, um, you might want to consider doing the joining special now with stamping up. Here, I think I'm gonna grab my tweezers out. Maybe that'll help me grab a hold of that. Let me see if I can get them. Here they are. Um, because it is it is a good value right now. And you know, there's no sale selling or anything involved on live videos. I really just do this because I like to do it. Um, I'm a retired nurse, I retired early. Um, so it kind of just makes my days a little bit more fun. And I always appreciate when people spend part of their morning with me. All right, not my best bow. This is not a reflection on the quality of the time on of the um, twine. It really is. I don't make very good bows. You know, I think I'm going to actually tie this and make a faux bow because <laughs> I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> we use all our time today watching me fumble around with this twine. <laughs> all right, we are just going to put this like that. Y'all get the gist, right? I will fool around with this later. But anyway, this is our first step up card. And I'm going to add to this bow later on or fix the whole thing. But for right now, this is what we're going to live with. And let me add some embellishments. These are our classic matte dots. And these are fun, fun. These are so pretty. Um, but, but really in a very subtle, kind of classy way. Um, nothing real fancy there. The off, I mean, you know, you got your basic white, your off white, your gray, and your black. And we're gonna be using the black. We're just gonna add three of these here. I'm gonna put one up here. I love all of my gems. I mean, I am definitely a gem person. I don't think I've ever sent a card that didn't have a little something on it. And I tend to do everything in a triangle. So there's our next step up card with our not very good looking bow, but I will fix that for us later. Oh, thanks for sharing, Kathy. I appreciate that. Oh, and also I wanted to mention the first, I am terrible for over ordering things. So I've decided the first of the month, if you, if you comment on my video, I'm. this is gonna be the first week of the month is when I'm gonna do prices. And this time, because I have too many sets of these, what color is this? This is the Shaded Spruce Blends. And this is going to be this month's prize for commenting on the video either here or on YouTube by the time um, I do my next live video, which is next week. Um, because I now own a lot of those because apparently I ordered I have to order those each and every time I place an order. All right, so we're gonna do one more card and we're gonna step this one up just a hair more. All using these note cards, so it doesn't get a whole lot easier than that. We're gonna use our Simply Marvelous paper and I just cut this in half an inch and um, a little over because I like to trim my bottoms there. Um, I have a heck of a time sometimes getting things even. So I like to cut them a little bit longer so I can go ahead and trim accordingly. So I'm gonna put some glue on this piece and I want a little wiggle room. So I'm gonna be using my multi-purpose glue, just like that. And I'm gonna line this up at the top, follow that seam down and get it as even as I possibly can. Oh, see, and this is why I need the wiggle room. I need to go up to the top. Then I have a piece of the um, shaded spruce here. And this is cut at half or a quarter inch. I, uh, it's a quarter inch. It's a quarter inch, and of course, everything will be on my blog later. 
and we're gonna step this card up just a little bit more. And let that dry for a minute. Let's take my scissors, and these scissors are actually the ones I use for glue and adhesive. All right, so you can see already, just with a couple of celebration products, how we have stepped that up. We're gonna use our markers again because I wanna use the plant this time. How great is this? So for our stems there, um, we're gonna use some soft suede. And I actually haven't tried this one yet, so we're all doing this together. I like to go on the fly some days. And I appreciate you joining with me. <laughs> and then this is the early experience espresso. I always want to say espresso, but it is espresso. Um, anyway, so we're going to color this in. And this is really, like I said, this is a great way to use your markers just to change that definition a little bit. Um, sometimes I find when you use them for straight coloring, they can streak and I do prefer the blends for when I'm just color, coloring, sitting there coloring. And then I'm going to use my, you know, I think I'm gonna go with my old olive for most of this and then just add a little garden green. And we're gonna see how this turns out. We're going all in, folks, on this design. Um, and we'll see how it works, get this nice and done. And I'm going pretty quick. If I was here by myself, I might take a little bit more time. And then I'm gonna take the darker garden green and just highlight a little bit here and there. We're gonna see how this works out. Before the blends came along, I used to kind of do this technique all the time and haven't done it too much. I'm gonna go over those stems one more time because that was the first thing I did. So I want to just make sure that that's gonna work. All right, everyone fingers crossed. Is everyone's fingers crossed? Let's see how this turns out. We're gonna give it a press. and lift up. Ooh, look at how cute that turned out. Okay, I really like this one with those different colors. And we're gonna ground it again with our thank you. Um, just because I think that's one I, well, maybe we will. Oh yeah, here it is. I thought, oh, maybe I misplaced that one. Or let's see, do we wanna do something different here? Because I've shown you that one. Um, Let's see here. How about thinking of you? Let's do thinking of you. I have to just find the right one. Um, let's see here, congratulations. See, I put all mine back here like this, so I have to find the right one. Um, well, I'm making this way more complicated than I need to do. Happy birthday. You know, I think we're just, I think I'll find that one later and we're gonna stick with thanks because that's the one I have out and we're gonna ground that. And the nice thing about the photopolymer is that you can see through it. Thanks. Perfect. Now let's grab our bling here. And what one do I want here? You know, I think I'm gonna use actually our in colors just because I want to use that evening evergreen color. And I know we don't have any real evening evergreen on here, but I think that green is gonna look super nice on this. So I'm gonna use a big one, kind of down here by the thanks, and another big one on the other side of the thanks, kind of highlight that, and then pop a small one off to the side here. So again, very simple, simple stamping today. Didn't use too much of the flowers. I've seen a lot done with those. I have not done much with those and didn't do much with them here on the video. I'll have to play around with that and I'll fix that bow. Okay, so we, I think we decided that I like the crushed curry better than the so saffron with the evening evergreen. And then this one we did, um, with the markers using garden green, old olive, some soft suede, and some early espresso. So not a whole lot of supplies, simple stamping. 
I really appreciate you joining me today. If you don't have these note cards, I would sure go ahead and put them on your next order. If you need a catalog and you're not working with a demonstrator, please reach out um, to me. I'm happy to pop one in the mail for you. Again, my name is Colleen Light. I'm with Cards by Coco. And thank you so much for joining me. Have a great day and a fabulous weekend. I'll see you next week. I'll post on my website when it'll be. I know I have appointments next Thursday. Okay, folks. Bye-bye.